The Election Commission of India held meetings with the national and the regional political parties in Jammu and Kashmir. The Chief Election Commission, along with members, are on a two-day visit to the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. They also met with the top security officials from Jammu and Kashmir, police and paramilitary forces. All the major political parties that met with the Chief Election Commissioner were hopeful that elections will finally be held in the Union territory as soon as possible. The Chief Election Commissioner will be visiting Jammu to meet with the political delegations and administration tomorrow. The Election Commission is in fact expected to announce the poll dates before the 30th of September based on the deadline given by the Supreme Court. We have always been hopeful and this time also we are hopeful. Election Commission has assured us that this will uh, now be completed because they said there were certain things which they had to complete, uh, which they are now totally in place. They said by uh, November, December last year, 23, those reservation issues were complete. Other things had to be done on the Election Commission basis. They have been completed and now I don't see any reason for not conducting them. No, on the 9th of August, the Election Commission team will be meeting with the top officials, including the Chief Secretary and Director General of the Police, before heading to Jammu for further discussions with enforcement agencies and to hold a press conference. The Jammu and Kashmir will witness elections after a gap of nearly about 10 years, as the last Assembly elections were held way back in 2014, that's 10 years ago. And our special correspondent Idris Lohn has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report from Srinagar. The Chief Election Commission of India, Rajiv Kumar, along with two member delegates, is on a visit to the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. He'll be here for two days and he's already met with the political parties of Jammu and Kashmir, which includes Bharatiya Janata Party, Indian National Congress, PDP and National Conference. Uh, all of these parties were of the opinion that elections should be held in uh, Jammu and Kashmir as soon as possible, although uh, the Supreme Court has already directed uh, the Union government to hold elections in Jammu and Kashmir before September 30th. Uh, and by the meeting uh, that these political parties had uh, with the Chief Election Commission today, they are hopeful that elections will be held before September 30th. The Election Commission will be making an announcement uh, after meeting some delegates tomorrow in Jammu as well. Today, uh, they also met with the secu top security officials of Jammu and Kashmir uh, from the Jammu and Kashmir police as well as the paramilitary forces uh, to know the ground situation, whether the elections uh, can be held and the atmosphere is conducive. Uh, the Election Commission will be uh, uh, giving a press conference tomorrow in Jammu in which most likely they'll be announcing the dates for the upcoming Assembly elections. With video journalist Feroz Idris Loan for Vion World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.